Good evening, everyone. My name is Vero, or Veronica, or Vero, with uh, Vero's Crochet Gifts. Um, I'd like to thank all of the new subscribers that have um, subscribed. Thank you so much. Um, oh my goodness, uh, Tracy with Crochet Rocks uh, shouted my name out as well. Thank you, Tracy. And today is Mad Yesterday was Tracy's birthday, so happy belated birthday, Tracy. I really, really, really hope that you had an awesome, awesome day. Uh, and today, sorry about that, today is uh, Madonna's birthday. Madonna, happy birthday. Um, my wish for you is that every single day feels like your birthday. And that every single day, which that does happen, you know, people show you uh, love and demonstrate how much a bunch of us love you. Um, happy birthday. I hope that you've had an awesome one so far. Um, hold on a second. Let me finish, okay? Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, um, happy birthday, Madonna, and happy belated, Tracy, and thank you so much for the shout out. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly, not really quickly. Um, I hope you guys have the time, right? Um, <laughs> I've noticed I didn't realize anything about the analytics, and then I, you know, when I started seeing some of the other ladies showing their analytics, I was like, hmm, let me go check mine out. <laughs> A bunch of my videos have only a little bitty speck because some of the, I was looking at some of the other uh, analytics and they were like hey mine are going like halfway through or 50% or something and I was like well don't feel bad because mine just shows a little speck that means that mine don't get watched but I hope you guys could watch this one all the way to the end because oh my goodness I am so happy first of all I received some happy mail so I wanted to show you guys because I've been meaning to do this. I received uh, an envelope. I received some mail from Adele. Um, I don't know if you want me to say your last name or not. Um, but a lot of you guys have seen her on a bunch of lives. She's an awesome supporter of many, many channels. She comes onto mine and, you know, is always liking my videos and commenting. And she's awesome. She's a great supporter. Her name is Adele. And she sent me these beautiful stitch markers. They have my name on, so now I have three with my name on it. One of them, uh, Bridget with uh, Queen's Crochet and Knit sent me, like back in December. And then I have these, I have my name on them. I have gotten, like, I use all the ones that I've been given, like by Monica, uh, Buck, and Bridget, and um, I'll be using these. Thank you, Adele, that was awesome. This is the card that came, um, it's from Liz's, stitch markers and then this is the facebook thing and then in case you guys are interested these are pretty i like them thank you um i also received some other happy mail Where's my, oh, i received some other happy mail i received some some yarn but i'm going to show you guys this yarn once it's worked up um I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll show you guys in the next video. That's what I'll end up showing, I think. <clears throat> but I'll show it to you guys. And that came from CJ with a scrap of dap -doo. Um, You guys need to check her channel out. Um, she has, she reached out to me about a month ago and in her email she said that she had, um, a bunch of items that she can put in my store and so here I was thinking that I'm going to help somebody else out right I was like yeah I can do this I'll sell this stuff for you because I didn't know what kind of financial situation you know she was in and I wasn't gonna ask but I was like I'll help you you know just like I've been reaching out to whoever want you know that's a whole nother thing but that's what I was thinking. And so I gave her my number and she calls me the next day and she's telling me a little bit about herself and 
what she does. And the more that she was speaking to me, I've told you guys about my dad before, you know, um, when my father passed, like he, my dad lived with me and, and my children and my kids were younger, of course, little at the time. My daughter, my oldest daughter was barely in high school. She was like in the 11th grade. Uh, my, and my son, Aaron and my daughter, Theta were, you know, my son was in elementary and my daughter was in, you know, middle school. They're little. And when my dad passed away, oh my goodness, this man left the biggest void in the universe right here. And so when CJ was speaking to me, that black hole of a void kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And it shifted and it became so full again of life or something positive and all of this was by listening to CJ speak to me right it was like she was singing to me over the phone with her words and so once I found out what she was doing I did not know what I did right this time to deserve somebody like her to find me to help with this but I was like oh my god I want to help right so she was talking to me about this group, this project that they have, you know, that she's got going. And I thought she was like a volunteer or something there and whatnot. <laughs> was I wrong? So here I am still thinking that, yeah, I'll help you. You know, yes, this is what I want to do. And then I go and I find out that she's not only doing this stuff, but her and another woman founded this in 2008. It is called Clothe the Village Now. And I will link the website in the description box below. Um, it says helping hands, touching hearts. And what they do is that they help um, several villages. Uh, this, this is what they say. Their mission is to empower impoverished people through sustainability with education, health, food, and hope. We desire to bring hope to the hearts of remote tribal villages in South Africa and Zimbabwe by providing education and sustainable projects. Uh, for example, uh, provide a food program, building a STEM and vocational lab and a bakery, a STEM school in a village in Africa where she said that somebody would never in a million years would someone open this and they are doing this. The unemployment rate in Africa is 90% and they, are trying they are working really hard to empower these people so that they can learn some skills so that they may be able to go get an edu a higher education go to college you know stuff like that all of that touched touched me in a way that I was like I found my new mission <laughs> um she says that she she goes to Africa like 3 months out of the year she's going back in September she's going in March and I'm going with her in September I don't know how it's going to happen yet because, you know, everything going on here at home, but it's going to happen. Like, I already claimed it. It's already mine. I'm on that plane with CJ and her mother and whoever goes in September, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to help. Um, and I'd love to bring my kids with me, too, so they can help. You know, I have a 20 something year old, I don't remember exactly how old she is, but I know that she would love to do something like this too. I have a two 20 something year old. <laughs> I think she's 21. No, she's not 20 yet. She'll be 21 in August. <sighs> Sorry, Theta. Um, they don't even watch these videos, um, but they help, they, <clears throat> they close these, people they get they provide clothing and food and like I you know I was reading you guys need to go and check this website out or I've, I've already recorded this video quite a few times and um I deleted them because I'm recording from my son's phone <laughs> because my memory's full <sighs> anyways you guys need to check her out CJ is amazing. She is so full of life. She's got so much to give and to offer. And she's, 
an awesome supporter too. Um, she wants to help in everything that she that she possibly can, and she is going to spread the word about their mission. And I am very, very, very grateful that she picked me to want to help them too. You know, to help them, and any of you can help out with this. I know that she's going to Stitch Fest, and when you, Sandy, and Lisa, and Rosie, and all of you guys at Stitch Fest, I know that when she gets there and, and you guys meet her, she is going to touch you in a way. You'll see. You, all of you guys, are gonna be in tears, including you, Lisa, you'll see. <laughs> Go check out this website. It is amazing, and I'm gonna be, not in the website, but there, where they go. She is going and she um, uh, is going to, uh, she's working with uh, some wood uh, carvers and uh, the, 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 one of the things that she wants to do, she wants to find some people that actually dye yarn to give them business, but to bring it over here as well and, and to help them, right, to feed their village etc and she's doing the same thing like she's look she's going to start getting them to crochet uh, crochet to carve like yarn bowls um those things that spin to drop the yarn or spin it or something something like that but with beautiful carvings of maybe like the animals from there so we're gonna be bringing that to a website near you um everything that she sells the, the money that comes from everything that she sells goes straight to this project, to this mission. So I am really excited about that. And uh, with that with that in mind, with the helping hands in mind, um, I know you guys are going to love it because of the type of community that we are. Because of how I've seen everyone gather and get together to help out in any which way they can, whether it's sharing the video, whether it's donating, whether it's purchasing something to help someone else out. Right now, we've been, you know, trying to help Sandy with crochet A, you know, with her sister, and it is overwhelming to see how much support and love is going her way. And um, on that note as well, um, I wanted to post this because I want to help someone else out, and this is a collaboration with uh, that a couple of ladies and I uh, have come together. One of them is CJ with scrap a dap a doo <laughs> scrap a dap -a -doo. <laughs> Anyways, uh, one of them is CJ um, and myself. And then um, there's a lady, her name is Karen Smith. She's an awesome supporter of a bunch of you guys' channels, including mine. She doesn't have, she has a channel, she doesn't have any content, but she's helping out as well um i'm donating another yoda karen is providing some of the yarn so that i can make the robe for the you know for the other yodas and the uh, um uh bridget with queen's crochet and knits she's going to be posting a video as well uh she is donating um one of her amigurumi is it moose meese or mooses <laughs> Moose? Mice? It's not mice. Moose. <laughs> Meese. She's donating one of her mooses. One of her moose. It's so cute. You guys need to go and check her video out. She's going to either already, she either already posted it or she will be posting it uh, really soon. Um, she's donating that in a beautiful shawl and I will let her show you guys that. Um, I'm donating, of course, a Yoda, and you guys know what that looks like, and CJ. Oh, Karen is donating the yarn for the robes, and CJ so kindly donated also this gorgeous necklace that comes from Africa, from one of the villages of these, from where these people bead these things. Look how beautiful it is. And so this goes around your neck. I love it. I do love it. Can you imagine how sexy somebody else can make this look? Not I, said the fly, <laughs> but somebody could. But look at this. And you guys should see this. I mean, these are teeny weeny beads. And you guys should, I mean, it is beautifully made. 
So this is one of the things that's going in the raffle. Um, what we were trying to do, the whole, the whole mission, what we were trying to do is that we were trying to put everything in one pot and then we were gonna have, you know, all of, we we're gonna have one, the shawl, the moose, the Yoda, and the necklace, four things, right? Um, I think I'm gonna throw in a shawl myself, but um, um, I haven't made it yet, so I'd have to show it to you guys once I do. But, um, so we're trying to get four to five items and have a raffle, right? And it was gonna be all, you can win one of these things for the price of one, instead of having to pay for each and every single one. I am working with um, the web designer and she, we were trying to figure out if there was any way possible to do that and then create a drop down list so that you guys can pick which item you wanted to um, try and win, whether it was a Yoda or the necklace or a shawl or the moose or something. But this is like to help, right? So um, to support, um, did I even say who? No. Charlie, with Have a Yarn with Charlie, uh, posted a video uh, a while back and she was talking about her father-in-law, her boyfriend's uh, dad. Um, Sorry, Charlie, I don't wanna get you married <laughs> just yet, or maybe you already are in the talks, I don't know. Um, don't let me start any rumors. No one's told me anything, I'm just, me and my big mouth, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> I'm putting things out there. Um, but you never know, right? Um, but anyways, um, I, uh, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Charlie. She's, I don't even know that, but her boyfriend's father was diagnosed with, um, he was told, well, he was, he was battling uh, breast cancer and he was told that he was in remission and then they just got the news a few weeks ago that now it has it did spread it did metastasize into the brain so he now has brain cancer and um, I want to help and I know we all want to help Charlie right and so but she hasn't you know, it was like um, we were talking Bridget and I were talking and I asked her what could we name this the project you know what, what should we name it and she came up with an awesome name, Charlie's Angels. <laughs> and we asked Charlie if this was okay with her and she spoke to her boyfriend about it and they're both very grateful and thankful and happy, you know, that we're doing this. So let's help them out as well. Um, I was trying to get all of these items on the website so that you got, there could be a drop down list and you pick. I can't do that. It's the, I work with WooCommerce and it's WooCommerce that I'm using to keep everything transparent, to keep everything on the up and up, even, you know, on my end, on everybody's end. And so um, we can't do that. So I'm going to have to split them, you know, uh, the the necklace in one, um, the, uh, the shawl in another one, the moose in another one, and the Yoda in another one. Um, and so you guys can pick and choose which one you know you want to go for it and it'll be five dollars right for um for each item um to go in for your name to go in that pot for that particular item that you want to win um and uh it's it's like i said a collaboration between um scrap a dap -a -do, cj um, hopefully she posts a video really soon and then Bridget with Bridget's uh, with Queen's uh, crochet and knits and uh, like I said Karen Smith thank you so much she's donating some yarn and then um, that's what we're doing so let's help Charlie out I haven't put the things up yet they will be up tomorrow um, I'll put a video and say hey it's ready to go <clears throat> let's show our support <clears throat> and it'll work the same way you know and I'll tell you what 100% of the proceeds that I get from uh, for from any of these items 
uh, including even including the one for the Yoda that's going on with us for Sandy. 100% of all of that is going to go to them, everything. Um, so um, let's help another Yarny sister out. Uh, let's help her, you know, to be able to, uh, so that her and her boyfriend um, can, you know, use it for whatever it is that they need to help them to help his father, right? Um, I want to thank all of you guys, you know, for sticking around to the end. I'd like to thank Bridget, CJ, thank you so very much for everything that you've done, um, for what you've done with me. Thank you. Um, I never thought in a million years that a complete stranger would reach out to me and help me the way that she has with this whole thing that was that's you know that goes on that was going on with my dad thank you for flipping this nasty black hole and giving me something big something bigger so hey I can't wait for you guys to meet her in person. I can't wait to meet her in person. She told me that she's coming to Houston, possibly the beginning of April or maybe the end of it. We'll see. Uh, on another note, I may be able to be uh, to go to Stitch Fest. We'll see what happens uh, in the next uh, week or so with uh, my husband. Um, so I am excited about that. You guys might get... <laughs> maybe cursed by meeting me because I don't know how to shut up. I'm going to stop now because it's 20 minutes and 29 seconds and I'm really excited about this. I don't like getting all sappy and I do, but um, oh my goodness, I am just ecstatic. I am so happy uh, for this project with the helping hands. Um, I will link that below. I'm going to uh, link uh, uh, Bridget's uh, channel as well. I don't know if she's posted her video or not yet. Let's hope she does or that she already did. But if she didn't, look out for it. Um, let's all go to Scrap -a -dap -a -do's channel as well. Let's subscribe to her and let's wait and see when she does post that first video, which um, Ryan, you know, uh, uh, the uh, yarn hag, <laughs> Ryan, ah, I don't... I, yarn hag sounds a little bit it's awesome she's awesome uh she called her out to cj and said hey press that little button so you guys have a happy happy monday i will let you guys know when the items are up uh on the website uh it'll probably probably be tomorrow sometime i just wanted to post this video up and give you guys a heads up so you guys have a happy monday and um I will get back with you guys tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm sure it's going to be tomorrow sometime. And I thank you, all of you, for your support. I thank you for subscribing, uh, for sharing. Um, I am grateful for this whole community. I really am. Thank you guys so much, and you guys have a great evening.